We're live, okay. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream today. I'm a stream on Twitch because I couldn't re I couldn't really set it out on YouTube. But we're here with a race on Lift for Speed. The TBO round two around South City. And we're in pre practice. After free practice, we'll be qualifying, followed by race one, which I think is a sprint race, and then a feature race after that. Not the best at this track, I'll have to admit. My personal best is a 117.92. The good thing is, I'm getting at least a 118, so I want to be more consistent rather than quick. And plus, I just want to focus on delivering clean driving. We had a pre-qualification at two, but everyone who set time lapse on that was eligible, so that's all good. We don't have to do that. So let's go for my first flying lap in practice, and then I might just fuel the car up to ten and uh, to do ten laps. Just focus on being consistent. Not the best there. All right, let's just fuel the car up to do ten. The car doesn't break as much as I want it to. I can't remember <coughs> how many laps the first race is. I don't know. We're supposed to have a virtual safety car a test at 15.15, which is 15 minutes past 3, uh, which should be in about 6 minutes. If you hear some strange noises or strange voices, it's either the race director or sim broadcast guys. So, yeah. Am I reading chat? I will be doing in free practice in qualif uh I will be doing in free practice but maybe not in qualifying and races. Can't even get out the get out the pits. to do this whole lount lap again. I do apologise if this stream looks a little weird as well. Can't really do anything about it. Need to get used to having more fuel on board now.
I wouldn't normally break there, I'm just trying to be cautious with the 76 in front. Heard of a song called American Pie? No, I haven't. Try and keep the chat, like, on topic as well. Yeah, one nineteen point five six. I can go quicker. let these guys through though because they're super quick so that's going to cost me a couple of tenths but I just want to give a clean race and enjoy it. The track is just super difficult. It's like a mini Monaco. Do I have a date for face cam back in streams? No, not really. best track for this game. I don't know, I'm afraid. Just whatever you enjoy, really. I either like the Kyoto Oval or the Rockingham Oval. Five minutes left of free practice. I know it says qualify, but they're just trying to get the timings. This is just free practice. Okay, we're running about 30 seconds. I'll go for a VSE exercise. About 30 seconds of VSE exercise. So that's the race director voice. So we'll have a VSE in uh, like 20 seconds or so. My car feels heavy all of a sudden, why does it do that? It's pulling off to the left. So let's get up to like racing speed so we can fully test it out. So the VSE speed is 80 kilometers an hour, 49 mile an hour. About five seconds and we'll go free exercise. I think uh, we had about like three safety cars. Everyone stand by for a VSC exercise in five seconds. 
VSC in five, four, three, two, one. VSC deployed, VSC deployed. Speed is 80 kilometers an hour, 49 mile an hour. Everyone stand by for VSC ending on short notice. Green flag in five, four, three, two, one. Green flag, green flag. Thank you, everyone. There we go. My steering feels really weird. Feels really heavy. So I'm gonna fuel the car up, change tires, repair the damage, and then go out. My car is steering to the left, so this pit exit's gonna be, or this pit entry is gonna be fun. Not. Foot slid off the brake. Eight kilometers, it's 11.4. What do you mean by that? Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I should be gone soon. Damn it. Possible. I, th I feel that you're going to be able to do this race without any damage unless you are literally at the top of your game. Because it's literally like Monaco. It's super hard not to get damage. If you drive around at snail's pace, then yes, you could possibly get around it here with no damage. But if you're battling with people, it's quite hard. Free practice is finished. There's my time. <laughs> so we don't even have enough. Alright, let's go back down to three laps for qualifying. And we'll just wait for qualifying, which should happen in around 10 minutes, I think.
Isaac Price with the quickest lap with a Yeah, I am probably going to be at the back. Eleven point four. I don't know what MPS is, miles per second. No, it isn't. Hello, Bolt. You're raiding me, lol. Okay, everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, rundown of qualifying what we're going to do. So during qualifying chat we're closed. The session will, uh, when the session starts, the pit exit will be closed. You can queue in the fast lane, but do not pit, uh, uh, do not exit pit lane until it is opened. There will be about a two minute delay uh, until when it's open. So do not exit until it is open. Do not enter the fast lane unless you intend to go out on track. Qualifying will be two shot qualifying. You're allowed two times out the pit lane and two times uh, two time laps. You can do your two, your two time laps back to back, but once you do so, you must not exit pit lane again. There will be a counter on screen uh, to tell you what you can and can't do. Uh, and as always, keep uh, at least two wheels to the right hand side of the pit exit blend line. Are there, are there any questions on the qualifying procedure? I'm all good. Right, we'll be going for the uh, qualifying session at 15.28 and then we'll wait in pit lane obviously for the, uh, the start. When will that be then? Three minutes. Would you have an alert saying I'm raiding you? No. I don't even know how to check how many followers I have. We have two minutes until we're going to qualifying, but the session itself is 20 minutes for qualifying. The pit lane will open at 15.30. That understands the two minutes thing then.
So you only basically have two chances to get a brilliant lap in then. That's all I need. Okay, I'm going to go, by the way, you're in my YT video, and by the way, you go on to Twitch, and then Dashboard, okay. Well, I'm ready for the qualifying, so let's bring it. Two minutes, I think. I think out of all of, like out of all of the things, the qualifying is the hardest and most stressful thing. We're starting qualifying. Uh, when this starts, chat will be closed. The qualifying is probably the most stressful and hardest thing to do. The race is pretty much done if you get a good starting position. Yeah, we are on round two of... Is it okay, six? We're going to qualify now. Is it six rounds in the TBO challenge? I can't remember. Pit exit is closed. Fast lane is open. You can queue in the fast lane, but do not cross the pit exit blend line. Oh, sorry, do not cross the pit exit line at all. Why do I have to be leading this? No, there is just one car in this game. So the season finale one we minute, is one minute. For the season finale we have a six hour endurance race, which I'll see if I can try. May not complete it, but yeah. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one, green flag, green flag. And I am leading this train. And I ha think I have a very big responsibility here. I just want to cross that line first so I can you know, have the first qualifying session thing, but looks like he's going to have it. Not really sure how, if you can overtake people on a run out lap unless they are letting you. Get a good exit out this corner. No longer reading chat, guys, because I need to concentrate here.
damn it. I have another run, so it's fine. Just around that corner, I think I can improve on that. On that corner. That turn really isn't a corner for these cars. One eighteen, thirteen, yeah. Immediately gonna go out for another one because that was just terrible. I think everyone but one car can get a better lap time than that. So I've reached my uh, pit exit limit, so I can't repair. This is literally my last chance. Got a little distracted by that car coming out of pit lane. Hopefully it doesn't cost me too much time. Both laps have been screwed up, thanks very much. to have been tighter to that corner as well. Once again, qualifying has been not the best for me. Can't go out of pit road or pit lane. P20. One eighteen point one two. I know I can get a one seventeen. First laps, I just went in a bit too deep, which was my own fault. Next time, I got distracted by someone coming out of pit lane, 
And there my uh there's my two chances. Might get a seventeen in the race though. Just relax now. How many laps is it? I'll figure out my race strategy. Because we have a formation lap as well. Right, it's 18 laps. The first race is 18 laps, the second one is 30. So if I fill up to 19 laps then, 18.9, yeah, if I fill up with 18.9, I'll be able to save some fuel during the race as well, 18.9 to do the first race because we have a formation lap. Then we start. Obviously, we have the cool down lap as well, but you don't have to complete that. Like, that's just going back into the pits. So, just going to read chat while we wait. Sim broadcast might come in and give me an interview as well, I don't know. I am in the commentary waiting thing. <clears throat> Number 78 car is the only car that's slower than me, and 18.71, which I think is the exact same I the exact same time I got on my last run. Roblox stream tonight as well, guys. And a video that's supposed to be coming out in around about 50 minutes. What car is your dream car to get? I have no idea. It's been downloading that skin for this entire time. It should it should be displaying my frame rate, but I don't know how to get that. No idea if you can hear that or not, but I've just... Uh Put on my clock. The vid's already out. Oh wait, don't say I have to go and change it because the clocks went back. That was done. Alright then. 
I'll have to change some of the uh, future ones then. Oh well. You've got the video early then, I guess. Now 31st, jeez. If nine more people qualify, or if ten more people qualify, then I won't be able to do the race. Because you can only have 40 drivers on the grid. Isaac Price is the uh, driver currently on provisional pole. 114.42. I have no idea how I can make up four seconds. He's in an XRT as well. I was a bit unsure of what car to go for. Should I go with the RB4, the FXO, the XRT? I was more thinking FXO because it's quicker than the RB4 although we have to add more air intake restriction to the car which is 6% but even then I think it's still quicker than the RB4 but I just think the XRT is a drifting car I don't really think it's meant to to be a race car the vid has came out 10 minutes ago yeah I know looks like I didn't take the clocks going back into account like I did on yesterday's stream, or last night's stream. Watch I enjoyed doing. Four minutes left in qualifying or five minutes so people might start to come out and do their uh, final few laps. I think there's probably two pe I think there's probably two drivers that are starting from pit lane. Oh no. But yeah, I think next week we've got a TRR race on Tuesday, XFG Cup, I think, on Wednesday, and then I think I have a Fox Endurance race on Sunday, mm. Saturday. Can't fully remember though. Can you do an F1 stream one day? I know, I just don't know when I can fit it in.
Right, those of you who are wanting to get final lap times, I recommend go out now. And one of them is doing. Oh, we have a new pole person. Number 30 car. And they've took it back off them. Serious tire warming in there. I'm just seeing people going very wide in that corner. Is that probably the better line then? Maybe. Keeping it flat through there. Close to the walls there. Taking a great line through those last couple of corners, though, I've got to admit. So if he gets the bed time, then fair play to him. It's currently 29th. Forty. He improves massively to tenth. I think he can still actually complete his current lap as well. He's not doing though. Sean Lee's on a lap. What's his lap time going to be? Exit is closed. He just goes at one position to P12. I don't think anyone else is on A and lap, are they? No, just me. Oh, no one else is uh, else on, is on track. Thirty fifth. If it wasn't for those few mess ups, I think I could be actually looking at the times, I would have been the same, I think. Because the next time after that is a one sixteen and I can't get anywhere there, so Uh, for now, the course is closed, but only open for course cars, so no cars on track, please. 
meaning safety car, medical car, whatever. Those drivers on track, please return to pit lane when you can. I don't know when we're going to take part in the race. Formation lap will probably kick off at four. And I think the uh, whole event is supposed to finish at about half five. Which means I'll have about two and a, two and a half hours ready to get a Roblox stream ready. <laughs> So Lauren should be uh, publishing her uh, video as well. Uh, you know when she'll do it. Cars on track, please. Your cars on track. Go and train screen in a minute. Well, all cars not spectating, please. Yeah, what he means by that is just be in the race and you know not in like spectate mode or something. Okay, go and train screen now. Eighteen laps, just wanna make sure that I've got this correct. Number twenty Lucas Wilson. Hi Lucas. Hello. How did your qualifying session go? How would you rank that in your uh um qualifying sessions that you've done to date? First lap I went in a deep I think in about two corners, so I just focused on finishing that lap and then second lap when I was starting it, someone was coming out of pit entry which distracted me a little bit and went into the wall, so I knew that I wasn't possibly going to get a better lap time than my first one, but still, I think I got pretty close to my personal best, so I don't rank it as a really bad qualifying session, because even if I did do a personal best, I think I would have still been in the same position anyway. Yeah, you had a, you had a decent session anyway. Um, where did you finish? I, I can't quite remember. I haven't got the list I think I, posi I think I qualified in P35, but I don't know how many people are starting from pit lane. Um, I don't have those numbers right now, but yeah, P35. I mean, in a sprint, in a sprint race where you've got um, all these cars thundering down to turn one, you might find that that's quite a good position to start the race in. What do you think? I can see what you mean by that because a few drivers might get caught out in traffic, and with us being further behind, it might actually give us a bit of space to work with. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think you're starting in P35 at all. I think you're starting quite a lot higher up than that. Yeah, I'm probably um, guessing about P32 or something. <laughs> Sounds like we've got five cars starting from the pit lane, so yeah, you're definitely not starting uh, in P35. P30 um, then? Yep, yeah, probably, somewhere around there. And yeah, it looks like the grid is being set, Lucas, so uh, we'll let you get back to it. 
Um, best of luck for the sprint race. Thank um, you. We'll talk to you at the end if you're up for it. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. You were moved. So there okay, the... Okay, chat's now built in the server. No more chat, please. I'm just about to start the briefing in a minute or two. So they are the sim broadcast guys, so I was just doing my interview. So five cars starting from the pit lane then, so... Still saying P36 though on the start grid, so they're probably still setting it up. Okay, everyone, uh, welcome uh, to round number two. Chat's now closed, uh, but we'll just go for a few notes for the briefing. Um, we'll do one formation lap for this, um, for the race. So one formation lap from when the lights go out, mm -hmm. one formation lap. When you return to the grid, stop in the furthest available grid spot. Once you're in position, I'll announce when to expect the lights. And when the lights turn green, the race will start. If we need to deploy the safety car at any time, bunch up quickly but safely, please. Uh, and on restarts, there is no overtaking until you cross the start-finish line. We do have VSC available today. The VSC speed is 80 kilometers an hour, 49 mile an hour. You're given advance warning of VSC and then a five-second countdown. You must be at VSC speed when the countdown reaches zero and the VSC is deployed. The countdown is there to allow you time to reserve your surroundings and begin to slow down safely. Remember to continue to respect local yellow flags during this period. No overtaking when the VSC is deployed. Mm -hmm. When we're ready to go back racing, uh, we'll have five second countdown to the green flag. Should we need to put the red flags out for any reason, no overtaking, return slowly to the start finish line uh, and line up single file um, at the red flag line on one one side of the track and then wait for instruction. The red flag line is located at approximately grid position 19 and indica indicated by the red cones that are on the walls. As always, what? do not cross the pit exit blend line. You must keep at least two wheels to the right hand side of the pit exit line. As always, no spectating uh, from on the track unless you're given permission to do so. If you're stuck or upside down, wait until race control gives you permission to, to, to uh, spectate. The only place you can freely spectate is from within one of the pit garages. Um, good luck everyone. Any questions at all? I guess so. Why am I P37 when I qualify P35? And now 38. Good question, Austria. I don't know. You must keep at least two wheels on the right hand side of the pit exit line and the pit entry is open so you don't need to, uh, uh, yeah, you, you can cross the pit entry line. Those that are a pit lane starter will be, uh, I will tell you when you can join uh, the pit lane. Uh, the the following cars are pit lane starters: car 29, 47, 50, 64, and 86. You are pit lane starters. Ah, uh, so that right, okay. I should be getting to my position then shortly. Anyone got the order for those pit lane stuff? I haven't really found it. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm ready uh, yeah, to go. Yeah, we get the uh, the order for pit lane starters. It will be on uh, qualifying position. Uh, no pre-qualification is the reason for your um, pit lane start. Can we cut unnecessary chat, please? We're confirming stuff, please wait. Still saying P36. No man do trip, it's pit stop. I think I can do 18 laps. The 30 laps, 
Uh, I might push it, but... Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fuel the car up to do the number of laps. And then if I need to pit... Come in and pit and change tyres. But don't refuel though. Okay, so the order for the pit lane started will be 47, 64, then 50, and I'll tell you when you can leave the pit lane uh, and wait at the end of the lanes. Ballast is checked by the engine, but we'll be notified if you're not running the correct ballast. Are there any other last questions? We're good. Okay, ready up please. Uh, safety car, speed, stand by, I can't, I've got it logged down somewhere. Good luck everyone! Uh, maximum of the safety car speed is 100k, 62 mile an hour, VSC is 80 kilometers an hour, 49 mile an hour. Ready up please, 88 and 80. Yes, you can catch up to the safety car, but the maximum speed is the speed of the safety car itself, not you. Car 80 please, ready up. Stay ready, please. Still don't see why it says P36. Maybe on the formation lap I'll uh, improve that position, maybe. All right, let's go. Mm. Not going to be reading chat. Green flag for one formation lap. Car 47, join the pit lane and wait at the end, please. Yeah, there we go, 30 seconds. Car 46, uh, car, sorry, car 64, please join the pit lane. And wait at the end. I'm going to try and get some heat into my tyres. And car 50, join behind him, please. I don't follow the racing line, I just like to have it on there to give me a basic guide, even though I kind of know the track. I just want you it may on join there. and start from pit lane.
can't even see the pit boxes. Go ahead, 88. Yep, take up the furthest available grid spot. As mentioned several times in the briefing. I might have to, uh, yeah, yeah. Start aborted, start aborted, do one more flag, uh, one more lap, please, one more lap. I don't have enough fuel! Start aborted, start aborted. One more formation lap. Remind to all drivers, you need to take up the furthest available grid position. I don't have enough fuel. Go ahead, 64. Cars in pit lane, yes you may, but stay in the uh, same order please. I don't have enough fuel. Well, hopefully we can uh, try and do some fuel saving. Otherwise, we might have to go and pit for a go bit ahead, more 24. fuel. Yes, 83 was behind 24. Go ahead, 47. I mean, it's only 17.7 .7 fuel laps left, so I think I should have enough. Because obviously I'm not going super quick. I think I should have enough. S22. That is noted, 20, uh, 22 is noted. Oh. Alright, here we go. I blinked as soon as, the, as that went green. I just want to keep it clean here because I have a feeling mayhem will emerge as soon as we get to this first uh, as soon as we get to this first corner. Safety car, you may clear. Try and get the slipstream off the blank if I can. But I might have to concede here. That door closed, didn't it?
think I kept it pretty clean through there. Super deep there. Number 76 car has gone past me, but I know I'm quicker than him. Only six car just hit a wall, so that should hopefully give me a run. I see we'll lose momentum. If I'm not careful, so will I. No safety car, yeah. I think everyone kept it clean on lap one, which is good. I have enough fuel to finish, which is good as well, so... I mean, maybe they counted that lap as well. For the fuel, so... So many six cars just hitting loads of walls. That's my run. Oh, there was a car that just pulled over there. Is that a crash or what? That's the kind of chicane I needed. All drivers stand by for VSC. VSC in five, four, three, two, one. VSC now, VSC now. Full course yellow then. He's allowed to go past me because he's a course car.
I'm all the way back here as well. The top guys are up there. I don't know why I'm all the way down here. Pit entry is now open, pit entry is now open. Stand by for green on short, short notice. Green flag in five, four, three, two, one. Green flag, green flag. I love this, you know, this level of interaction with racing. It's great. There's like safety cars, virtual safety cars, and everyone telling us what's going on as well. I love it. Because in normal race games, it's just like, oh, yellow flag in the next sector. What for? There's no, you know, red flags and stuff. No yellow flags. for speed with this league that's just what makes this league the best we're well, not the best but you know one of the top things and I just enjoy it because you actually know what's going on and it feels like a real race with like a race engineer Got a bit of damage, unfortunately. But luckily, I don't think it's too bad, so... Yeah, I don't think we'll hold off Martin here. I was trying to break as hard as, hard as I could there. Like you saw my brake thing, it was like max. We didn't cause too much of an issue though, so... Yeah, I don't think penalties will be awarded for that. If yes, I take full blame. I think Martin is probably a second quicker than me every single lap, so I think he deserves to be in front of me, to be fair. I'll let him get on with his race and I'll get on with mine. ride that curve because I just feel like it can unsettle the car and I don't think it's the quickest line. But I think the leaders are going over it so... I don't know. There we go, it's 17.6. <laughs> That's my quickest time. It's my personal best and I'm just like, oh could I not have got that in qualifying? The light in my room is just absolutely perfect for racing. Because it's just about to be sunset, so... It looks stunning outside, but... Can't look at that. Need to focus on my race. If 
31st at the moment. Car number 22 is a drive through penalty for stopping in the wrong position, so... The pit entry is quite tricky, so hopefully we might be able to draw back some time. I've just done a 116.8 as well. Just snaps into oversteer as well there. Could, you know, could I not have done these times in qualifying? Oh, my car's pulling over to the left. I hate this. I like, literally look straight. It, my, the wheel just goes over to the left. All right, I just need to nurse this home now. Drive 16 has been spectated. Or oh, wanted to be spectated. I don't know if they were in front of me or not. Well, the car number 22 has completed his drive through penalty. No! <laughs> weren't quick enough. Seven laps remaining. Yeah, because they did take one lap off because of that second formation lap. Got it. There's six minutes remaining, though, of the thing, so we might not be able to do full 17 laps. But this is not the... Uh, This isn't the like feature race, this is only the sprint race. God! My car is so hard to control. It's like I've got no power steering at all. I am wrestling it to stay forward, because if I let go... Yeah, I don't know why I even thought of doing that. And then braking, it wants to turn right. What the hell's going on now? Ugh. It's actually hard to keep straight, guys. I am wrestling with the wheel right now. <sighs> Under braking with left with right handers is not too bad. Through the left handers it is difficult. <sighs> I'm just trying to go straight as well. The car is just wanting to steer left. No, don't get more damage. Oh my god. That has not helped out at all. It's made it even more difficult, isn't it? Oh my god. There's no power steering at all.
don't even know where I started to pick up this damage from. P30 now though, because someone timed out just ahead of me. I think something on the suspension has gone. Because the car is just bouncing like crazy. I did hit the wall pretty hard. The car went from a nice Lamborghini supercar to a super wide high end leisure car that wasn't upgraded with the power steering back in 1990, whatever it was. Where they introduced power steering. I have no. Uh, less than three minutes remaining in this race, we will be going to time, and the time remaining is in the top of your screen. Two minutes forty-seven now. Laps will be adjusted soon. Ow. Safety car deployed, safety car deployed. At least gives me some relief. Because this thing is just absolutely insane to drive. I won't do a pit stop because I'll lose more pits in the I'll lose more time in the pits. But the suspension is an issue. P29 now. At least I think I've gained time under the safety car, so... No grip at all! Go 88. I am wrestling this thing. All drivers catch up. Your drivers catch up to the line. I'm trying to. The car is just insane. One more lap, one more lap. The safety car will pick you up at turn three. Pick me up? Jeez. Pick me up or the leader up? I think the leader. Go ahead, 13. You do not understand how hard this thing is to control. Yeah, I think we're finishing this race under the safety car, so that's good. Because I need it. My car is just insanely hard. I can't stress how hard it is to drive this thing.
Go ahead, 83. That's the end of the race, leading you back off the line. I'm trying to catch up as quick as I can. Okay, that's the checkered flag. Once you're finished, the top eight will be reversed for the next race. But everyone return to pit lane, please. Everyone return to pit lane. Don't overtaking. That means don't overtake anyone. That's good because I need it. Oh my god, this car. You know when Jimmy Broadbed or some guys did that 100% force feedback challenge? It's like what I'm experiencing now. It is just hard to turn it into the right handers when all the car wants to do is just steer to the left. I'm going to cruise it around now because honestly. Whew. This car. Why do I feel like one of my tyres has gone as well? Oh, thank the Lord. Session is complete, Chad is open. Uh, correction, uh, the top six will be reversed. What, man? So ever since I got that damage that was difficult, that was very difficult, I just couldn't keep it on. Bye bye 22. <laughs> um, right, so we'll be going uh, to the entry soon. The top six will be reversed for this next race when we get there. I think we're okay to pit and reload our cars. So 30 laps for the next one, I do believe. Just going to double check that that is the that is the correct. Yes, it is the correct duration of laps. Actually, I'm just going to fuel it up with uh, a bit more. 27, yes, you can start from the back of the grid. There we go, 31 laps. We're going to just entry now, guys. 
Jeez. Hopefully I don't have that car for the next how many ever laps? 30 laps? Give me a chance. Um, probably going to be going green at 16.45 so you've got Six seven minutes. minutes. Might be interviewed in a minute, I don't know. The Sim Broadcast guys did say that they would interview me, so... Are we doing the positions from the first qualifying or second qualifying? Like, or where we finished in this race? Because if so, I'll be, finish I'll be starting P29, I think. I came. I can rest my arms now. Whew. But man, my arms for those last couple of uh, the minutes were minute dead. Now, I'll put you in a Stand by. Uh, the positions for those that didn't finish will be determined by their position in the last race, but I'll work that out with Palmer in a minute. Okay, so it's going to be doing the thing alright then. So where we finish in the first race is where we'll start next race. It looks like I'm not getting any connectivity issues as well while streaming at the same time, so... The only thing I'm noticing is just a little drop in frames, but, well, I say a little, it's quite substantial, but I can still race in the conditions. It's just below 30, I think, so. No real issue. If I was to stream more, like, using Twitch or something, I'll see if I can rewire my box to my old laptop, as that can stream better. And I, like, I'm not intending to do face cam for these streams as well so good to go are we supposed to ready up We haven't been given the go-ahead to ready up. I mean, we do still have another three, two minutes till the start. I don't need a wee, so I don't need to go. I'm 
guessing that start grid numbers thing then is kind of bugged. Yeah, two minutes. I said we should be done by half five. I don't know how long this next race is going to be. Probably 45 minutes, actually. Yeah, thinking about it, actually, yeah, don't worry about that. Because, yeah, 45 limit will be half five. Yeah, that's all right, then. Then might need to help Lauren out with some stuff for her video. So in front of me should be the number 67 and behind should be the number 59, okay. Okay everyone, ready up please, ready up. The grid is now set. Mm-hmm. No problem. Yes, the top six was reversed. Last time I did it, the whole grid was reversed. No, it wasn't. I'm thinking of the uh, TRR Championship. 47, you are in the right position, according to the tracker. Just going to give everyone a good look. But we will double check. <coughs> yeah, we just saw that 47, we'll have a look now. don't crash too much. <laughs> We're going to go as soon as you can, just waiting for the grid to be reconfirmed. Well, the number 42 needs to ready up. Now the 46. And the final reminder for the grid, take up the furthest available grid position when you come back to the grid on the formation lap, please. If we can. How do F1 drivers do it? <laughs> How do they? <sighs> yeah, don't pass people in the formation lap unless, like, something happens, I guess. Number 50 and number f 8 still needs to ready up. Now the number 22. I think they're still just doing stuff at the moment. A 45 time limit thing, finishing at uh, half five is slowly going away. Correct, Sean Lee. Oh, the 45 minute time limit for the race. Or 30 completed laps. Right, well, we should be good to go. We're all ready. Then we're just waiting for race control to for the go ahead.
I don't want to jinx it, but I don't think Sim Broadcasts are going to give me an interview after my first race, which I can get. They focus on the people who get good results, so they, they won't always interview me, you know. Here we go. Hopefully my car's not going to be a monster truck by the end of it. Actually, a monster truck probably has good suspension now. Yes! <laughs> Good wheel! <laughs> Feels glorious. Alright, so the 67 there, and behind me is the 59, so I need to go to the right hand side of the grid. I'm loaded up with the fuel I need, so that's good. Green flag for one green flag. Breaking into the first few corners is going to be tricky because now you're loaded up with more fuel, so... Obviously, I want to warm the, warm the tyres up, but the thing is that I don't want to crash into the wall because that 22 car is so close to, you know, just losing the back end and going into the wall. I think Martin's with the XRT as well. No, 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 he's with the FXO. Let's go! Quickly, 80. Yeah, 80 quickly. No. Uh, stand by for lights, stand by for lights. All the best of getaways. Red flag, yep. Yeah. I was kind of noting that was going to be a red flag as soon as that Before unfolded. Return to the red flag line of the hot line, please. Yes, 88. By grid 19, it's a red line on the, on the track and cone give beside. Yes, Oscar.
Yeah, we will be going for a full session restart, but we just got to get everyone to the line. Yes, 20. Yes, it'll be a new race. Okay. Right, okay, we're going to go for a full session restart. Um, please be careful this time. First lap, you know the you know the deal. You did it first time. Let's do it again. Um, <laughs> going to go for a restart now. Stand by. You did it first time. <laughs> oh god. Yes. Yes, there will be another formation. Okay. Lap. Oh, I was actually just going to say what that. Are we going to do another formation? Okay. Woo. Yes. Uh, there's someone that keeps whispering me. Uh, are you meaning to? That 22 likes to drift, I know he does. Just a reminder, give each other room on the race start, please. It's a tight on that first few corners, so be smart. I love his bat. I, lo I love his common sense. <laughs> like his mind. Be smart. <laughs> Damn it, I've just picked up engine damage on the formation lap. How the hell have I done that? That's my race done, and we haven't even got going yet. Another red flag, so I can repair my uh, engine damage. Yeah, this looks where I relatively was. Let's go! Stand by for lights. Again, I can't get a red. I, ca I can't get a relatively good start. Is my car too heavy or something? Is 
think the number 19 has space, had more space down the inside, so I, I gave him all the room. And he made contact, so I think he should have a look. Ha I mean, it didn't destroy my race, so we, he, he, he shouldn't be given a penalty, but the thing is, is that he should have left me more room, that's all I'm saying. No red flag, I'm just going to have to live with this engine damage then. I don't know what happens if the red flag comes on later on. Got an RB4 in front of me. The number twenty seven. Oh, I just saw a car there that just flipped. But it was a bit of a lag issue because they're now up, uh, up the right way now. Oh no, my steering's starting to become a bit more heavy. I mean, it's not as bad as it was last time. But I can definitely feel it slightly pulling to one side. I just need to take it careful now. Try not pick up as much uh, damage now. Yeah, it's putting to the right slightly. Past the 76 car. Also, the tyres looked okay doing 18 laps. 
or how many other laps we finished doing in the end, so I think they're alright to go 30. Still did in 1830 with a bit of engine damage and damage on my actual car as well, which is good. The pulling to the right is a lot more stronger now, and I've barely done a thing. I think we may have a VSC soon. The leaders are already going through the Baku style castle section. Number 80 is behind me. Probably you will be quicker than me. I need to break earlier going down that hill because... Yeah, why is my suspension already feel like it's going? This track ain't even, ain't even that bumpy. Car 80, you may spectate. My bad. Can I for once keep it out of that wall? Probably why my car feels so weird now. Car 73 warning for avoidable contact. Why do my brakes seem like they're failing? I'm not getting, I'm not stopping as much as I was doing before. Come on! Oh, VSE, VSE. Probably gonna get a VSE. Oh god, no, not now, Khan, not now. Not now. Ah. Uh. 
Oh my gosh. I'm pitting, I'm pitting, I can't deal with this. Alright, change the tyres, repair the damage, yeah, do whatever. Come last, whatevs. Because I can't deal with a car like this for 21 laps. My muscles will literally be dead, or my arms will literally be dead. If I can keep out of other walls, you know, would be nice. To be fair, I'll, I'll live with it. I'll just see what happens. If a safety car comes out, then I will do it. Then I will go ahead and pit. But at the moment, I think the quickest option is just to stay out on track. Wait for a safety car, then come in. If there ain't one, then I'm just going to have to deal with this car for the till til the end. Because there's only like half an hour left-ish. I think maybe my muscles can hold off that long. So in 15 minutes we can do 10 laps. I think the leaders are even on their 11th lap. Don't get into the barriers! Oh my god, the car is just... It's forcing its way to the right and then under braking to the left, so it's the opposite direction of what I was used to. Through the right hander it's okay, but then trying to keep at because all the only thing the car wants to do is just turn right. And in order to try and get it back to sense, I am literally wrestling with it. Under braking, it's fine. When I haven't got any power on it on it at all, it's fine, but then really getting on the power. That's when the wheel just snaps. I am really hoping for a safety car to save me. I'm gonna try braking a little bit earlier so we can keep out of the thing, but can I not? Like, stay on the racing line, you know? to ha hold one hand on the bottom of the steering wheel because of how rough it is. Oh my god, I can't even see out the wall. It's 
So this is what I mean, when you get damage, it's pretty much game over. Oh my god! This is really tough now! It like it's like pulling <laughs> pulling an elephant trying to get the wheel back to be sensor. In the spirit of gum though, do not give up. We keep going and see what happens. The leaders are already about to lap me as well. Come on! It is so tiring to just get the car back to centre. that right hand I just I honestly I'm letting off not because I have to just so my arms will deal with that type of pain Yes, you're pitting. Jesus. Alright, I'm pitting, I'm pitting. Hopefully get a nice working car. I know they're retired but I'm carrying on. Because I think even if you come like super last you'll still get points. So I, I'm just in it for the points really. I'm going to be... I'm going to pass everyone. Everyone's going to pass me, but... Nice working car now. Awesome. Still living with that engine damage though, unfortunately. But at least the car's a lot easier to drive.
I still can't get that corner right, though. But I am a lot quicker now. I think it's repaired the suspension as well. I'm on the wrong side of the road, I'd much rather run than be on the left. They've they've lapped me twice. I thought they were on the racing line, I didn't expect them to be there. Like, I was trying to look in my mirror, like, in my rear view mirror, like, watching where they are, but I can see them. Oh, finally took the corner! <laughs> Achievement! I don't know where the best place to let you through, mate, is. There, go. Got some damage though. best places to let them through. There's really no place to let them through through sectors through sectors one and two. Like after the hairpin. The hairpin is is a great place to let them through. That's kind of a good place to let them through. But then down this back straight, the only really place there is to let people through is to just to slow down and let them go. The thing is that you're going to need to, you're going to need to be jumping from the left to the right like all the time, and you don't want to make it look look to the race director like you're swerving to try and block them. Which is where I sometimes panic.
10 laps to go. User joined your channel. User left your channel. No idea what that was about. I like how few people are actually going to prefer a pit stop in this race. Yes, 59. Yes. Someone else to retire, another free space, I'll take that. Even though I'm a lap down, I'm in 31st, which I think is where I started my second race. I should have been blue flagged, so I was. Now I am. Alright, I'll let them through the airpin. Car 99 and 83, drive through penalty for chat. Let them through. Th uh, I'll let them through the start finish straight. Please give me time. We're definitely finishing the finishing this race in 30 laps. I don't know what the time limit for the first race was. Was it like 10 minutes? Didn't feel a lot. Another one to retire. Yeah. 
Yes, yeah, 1246. From pit lane, please. I ain't for tiring. Even if I'm getting blue flagged, that retire button is not there for me. Ow. Car 99, warning for avoidable contact. I haven't got a single penalty in either this round or last round. I don't want to jinx that though, but so far I've been a good boy. So Santa better put me on his nice list. Start finish straight again, I'll let you guys through. I put in another best lap time. Oh wait no. My best is still a sixteen point eight. And the guys behind you, please give me some time. That was close. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing with letting people buy. If I hadn't appeared, I would definitely be struggling now and that retire button may have, may have, may have been at the tip of my fingertips. laps left though, or four laps. P2 
so I didn't I haven't lost any positions from where I started. And this is my theory, people will retire and stuff. Meaning I've finished. Or meaning that I get a better position than where I started, so the leader has actually already finished, so I just need to complete this lap and then go to the pit lane. Didn't do the full 30 laps, but... Chat still closed. Just wait there, you're free, I'll get a rescue car to you now. Oh, top three to start finish line, everyone else to pit lane please. O three a rescue car will be with you soon. That was a good race. Started off not looking promising as I was literally felt feeling like I was hauling a elephant around the track. But after I paired, I think it's gone well. Yes, I was being blue flagged a lot. But Anyone who uh, also wants an interview, please go to the NDR TeamSpeak channel and wait in the commentators uh, the commentary box waiting room, and the commentator will drag you in there. Which I've done. And yeah, then after I paired, even though I lost time and I was just getting blue flagged, I just drove. User joined your channel. You Begin with blue. Lucas. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. So, uh, another race day that um, potentially you might want to forget. Um, I, I don't know whether I'm being too harsh, but what, let's let's have a think um, about your race. P29 in this one. How did how did your race go? Um, all right. Besides feeling like I was hauling an elephant around the track after my steering wheel because basically when I had some contact my steering just felt really heavy Go like it just always felt like it was pushing to the right and uh, you know it was just trying to keep it centered and stuff it was just felt like it was uh, putting it was he healing an elephant or something so tried to keep it on the track uh, so I decided to hop into the pits and just get a repair because if I kept going with that, my muscles, my arms would have just been dead, so I just decided to come in. Even though I was just getting blue flagged, I just kept going, uh, never gave up, because you saw people just kept retiring, and that just promoted me places, and you know, at the end of it, P29, and I don't really care where I come, I just come here to have some fun, do a bit of racing, and uh, enjoyed it, but uh, yeah, obviously results is a bonus for me, but... Yeah, I just enjoyed the race, but obviously getting a better position would have been ideal. Well, it's all all experience, and you can always build on this uh, for next time. True. Um, yeah, so next time out, we are at the streets of Blackwood. Um, Blackwood GP reversed on the 8th of November, so not that not that long to wait for uh, round number three. No. Are you looking forward to that one? Well... It, with the, um, it's not the same car as the open endurance race cars that I got uh, p that I got fifth place in, and plus that is endurance racing as well. But because I know the track layout, I like I kind of know what it is. Ju I think just trying to adapt the skills into this car shouldn't take me long at all. Uh, and just judging by how talented the uh, the pack is at the moment, it might be a challenging one. But hopefully. Where I won't be at the back for pretty much 
80% of the race. Well, we look forward to seeing you uh, in round number three. Thanks a lot for joining us, Lucas. No and problem. Best of luck in the future rounds of the season. Thank you, Pete. You were moved. Yes. User was moved out of your channel. So there we go. Isaac's now getting an interview. I've done. And yeah. Uh, Lothian, I just won the F1 at 110 AI. User disconnected from your channel. Whatever that is. You know the saying right best. How long left? I don't know. Thank you, Callum. A challenging, but I did like it. So I think I'm going to leave that stream here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm going to go and uh, try and upload this to YouTube now. Leave a like on the on the YouTube stream when it's up if you did enjoy the video follow me on Twitch because I might do some more of these races uh, as it's just easier to stream these types of races on Twitch and I'll see you in the next one until then take care and peace out